What's up, everybody? This is L.A. Williams, your blind phone master, and today we are going to be rebroadcasting a Facebook Live from the Millionaire Car Salesman Group between my main man, Mr. Sean V. Bradley, and the one and up. Well, you see who the guest is. She's absolutely phenomenal. I actually just spent some time at her store uh, about six days ago, and man, I'm telling you, they they headed straight to the top. Uh, they got a couple superstars there, man. I'm telling y'all. Y'all, yeah, y'all better watch out for it. But in the meantime, check this out. I think y'all gonna get a lot out of this rebroadcast. Welcome to the Millionaire Car Salesman Podcast, the number one resource for automotive sales professionals, managers, and owners to learn how to make money, accumulate wealth, and to all out ball out in the auto industry. And now your hosts. Sean V. Bradley and L.A. Williams. Three, two, one. Hey, everybody. This is your boy, Sean V. Bradley, president of Dealer Synergy, the creator of the Millionaire Car Sales Group, and the soon-to-be hottest radio show on the airwaves against all odds. <clears throat> Absolutely. But I'm here with Crystal DeSanto of Summit Toyota. So what's up, girl? How you doing? I'm doing really well. Thank you for having me. Uh, listen, How you doing? Doing fabulous. Thank you for being on uh, the show slash the Millionaire Car Salesman Group because um, so many amazing things that, that you guys are doing. So I want to first start with the fact that, you know, uh, you are obviously a Dealer Synergy client. And how many units was were you and your department doing before we partnered up? Before we partnered up, there was two of us. So we were probably doing between 30 and 40 a month on good months. And then now you're doing between like 80 to 100 units a month? Absolutely. So and that's only with five people. If we were really doing it your way and had a full 10 people, who knows? Sky's the limit, right? Yeah, but that's pretty crazy. More than doubled your entire department. Absolutely. All right. So I, I do want to hit that stuff. Um, but before we do, I want to get into how we're having this this interview right now. We have a, it's been crazy, Crystal. We've had a lot of individual um, salespeople from the Millionaire Car Salesman Group reach out to us. A lot of these people, unfortunately, have been victimized. There's a lot of uh, individual people that sell cars out there that are peddling their 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 sales secrets. And these yeah. people in like thousands of dollars regular salespeople are dropping thousands of dollars on this vaporware stuff and um you know again it's not working out so they're seeing that we're doing sales uh consulting and digital marketing things like that and we have a guy in, uh, named michael dreyer who who works at a toyota dealership on the showroom floor and we were coming up with a value package proposition which is why buy from us statement and i asked him a question about toyota oems and senna's and he, he didn't think that there were any. And I knew that had to be crazy. So I contacted two GMs. I contacted uh, Jason Lee Skinner, who's, you know, from, uh, he's a GM of Turnersville Toyota in New Jersey. And he's a member of this group. And then I, I also reached out to uh, you. And then I also reached out to TJ. And so you have a, you have a unique relationship, uh, ex you know, so you, uh, I'll explain it. So TJ is the general manager and Crystal is, you know, the BDC director, but they're married, okay? And so it's, so we're married. it's, it's like a tag, Aaron Bradley, you know, running Dealer Synergy, her yep. and TJ are running, you know, Summit Toyota. So TJ had said to me that, that, uh, that, that Toyota does something kind of cool. But before we get into that, I want to just hear from you. Tell us a little about what you guys do for, for charitable organizations and, you know, donations and community involvement. Let's, let's start there. Well, personally, we like to get involved with a lot of things. Uh, quite a few of them are sports related, but then I also like to make it personal. So we're involved with the youth football. We have the high school youth football field named, or excuse me, the youth football field named after us, but we also have at the high school the Summit Toyota ticket booth. So we're really involved with that. And we're in those two, it's in the community that TJ and I live in. So it's also personal as well, which helps with referrals and so forth. Um, we are involved in many little leagues in the area, sponsoring them, you know, having our names on the t-shirts. We do adult softball leagues with the same thing, senior citizen golf leagues. And then um, personally, because I said I like to turn it and make it personal because then you're involved in it. 
I'm heavily involved in the school PTO. So any any things they do, winter carnivals, dances, field days, movie nights, Summit Toyota is represented, you know, and in that way. Footlighters, which is our local youth theater company, we get super involved with that. We even do the parade with them and have a big Toyota truck going through with the sign on it and TJ and I driving. Um, our daughter does Taekwondo. We sponsor Taekwondo tournaments, certain rings. Um, I belong to a CrossFit gym. So what's the big banner hanging in the CrossFit gym? Summit Toyota. So that's kind of what we do. We do a lot of things in the area, but then I'm a big believer in being involved in it. So whatever I'm in or volunteering in or friends are, we try and do that. So that way we're not just giving money. We're also a part of it. Well, first of all, I want to commend you for, you know, all of the things that you do in the community, because I think it's it's. Uh, responsible and I think it's needed and I think it's beautiful. You know what I mean? Because, yeah. you know, th this is, this is our community. This is your, mm -hmm. so talk exactly. about why let's start here. Why do you guys do all that you do? Let's start with the why. Well, first of all, cause we can. <laughs> <laughs> so we give back obviously there. And then when you're involved in things like, for example, when I was involved or am involved in the PTO for the school, I can see things that are needed. I mean, they, you know, the kids had stopped taking field trips because they couldn't afford the buses. Um, the, everyone needed new Chromebooks. Well, guess what? A couple fundraisers having Summit Toyota sponsor it and I've got field trips up again and I've got Chromebooks for all the classes and things like that. So it's not just about because we can, but it's also seeing a need and filling it. You know, I think that's uh, that's really important because I want to be clear before we get any further. There's a difference of, of doing something because you can and you should versus because I'm just trying to sell some cars. You know what I mean? Absolutely. And, and don't get me wrong, I, I understand that we're in business, but here's what I'm building towards. I, I study the greats. That's the whole purpose of our millionaire car salesman group is to study what the best individual automotive professionals are doing and what the best automotive dealerships and dealer groups are doing. And, and I've kind of connected patterns. And what I'm finding is this simple, and I want to I get your, your temperature on this, is that if you want the community to support you, meaning very clearly, if you want the community to trust you, like you, believe you, buy from you, then you need to be an active participant in the community. True or false? 100%. 100%. And I like what you said, though, Crystal, it, it, it goes more than just stroking a check. You know what I mean? Because just because you stroke a check doesn't mean that you're emotionally committed, that you believe in the cause, you know, right. got millions of dollars could just stroke a check. But what I what I heard from you is that you're passionate about the things that you're supporting to the point where you're putting not only your money, but you're putting the most precious commodity, your time involved in that. So let's talk about that for a second. Yeah. Having a, a husband that's the GM and you are the a major manager of one of the major profits is the internet BDC. It's not like you guys have like tons of like, you know, spare time running around. So right. you must be selective of the things that you dedicate, you know, uh, dedicate or delegate your time to. Would you agree? I would absolutely agree. Um, I think it's important not just to be selective of the organization and what you're giving your money to, but like I said before, and you said, it's so important to be involved that if you can, and, and time is a big issue, if you can try your hardest to make it things that either you're already participating in, such as my gym, your children are interested in, or even friends you know, anything you can do so that you're not just writing the check, they don't just have your name on a t-shirt, but you're actually physically there. Like I said, for the youth theater program, great, we can put an ad in the playbook, which we do, but it's a lot different as well for the day of the parade, we have a Toyota truck out there with a big Summit Toyota sign on the side with all the kids in the back and TJ and I are driving it and we're in the parade. We don't have to do that. That takes time, but we know it's community involvement. That's our community and we wanna show that we are supporting it and part of it, not just writing a check so you'll come buy a car from us. 
Absolutely. I, I want to digress because you, you just dropped one of the best nuggets that I've ever heard as far as a strategy. I, I mean this sincerely because Karen talks about the same thing. It's how to maximize your time. It's not mm -hmm. time. See, Karen Bradley doesn't specialize in time management. It's time maximization because it's right. Maximize something means more than just managing it, keeping your hands on it. So what you said that I'm extracting this golden platinum nugget would be, you know, if you're doing things that you're already doing, see, because sometimes it's hard for people, especially senior managers like you and your husband, you know, to, to go do something because you got 50 million things going on. So if you can find things like your gym, the CrossFit, or with your child with Taekwondo or with the parent teachers, you know, organization, mm -hmm. Oh, if you're already doing these activities, you can turn around and I hate saying the word because it's archaic, but killing three birds with one stone, metaphorically speaking. Right, you are. Smart is that you are able to turn around and get some time with your child. You know what I mean? It, whether it's the Taekwondo or it's doing the PTO thing, it might be a, a parent-teacher activity or something like that. So you got, you got that personal bonding time, one. Second, you have the parent adult thing where you get to meet other parents and, you know, whether it's, it's right. daddy time or mommy and daddy time with other mommies and daddies. And then mm -hmm. the, you're able to turn on and loop in the dealership, you know, through the charitable or altruistic things that you're doing. So I got to tell you, I think that that is very, very strong. So let's talk about um, how appreciative are these organizations uh, of having a major Toyota dealership backing all this stuff. Super appreciative. I mean, they go above and beyond to say thank you to us, whether it's sending us photos and thank you letters that we can hang on our wall. We actually have a whole wall in our customer waiting lounge of all the things that we've done. Um, but anything that we get involved in, whether it's the school or things like that, it's not just, you know, a little sign that's up there that says Summit Toyota. You're talking about like the principals or if it's theater directors, they're sending out newsletters and things mentioning us all the time, talking about us. When they post on Facebook, they talk about us. The youth football, every time they post a picture of anything and that's regular, there's, you know, the giant Summit Toyota field back there. So I think it's it's in more ways than just a thank you with a sign or a T-shirt. They really reach out and they really understand and appreciate. And I think it's also because, like we said, we're not just writing a check and putting a sign there. When people think of purchasing a car, great. They're going to think of Summit Toyota because they saw the sponsorship. But we also want them to try and think of, oh, TJ and Crystal. It personalizes it as well which I think makes a big difference, but they're super appreciative. The things we've done for the community, for the schools, for the football, for the theater league, Taekwondo, just go above and beyond. And they realize that because we're not just writing the check and they show such appreciation for it. So let's, let's go deeper into this. So Toyota, I just learned something. I'm a 20, almost 22 year automotive veteran. And I just found out from your husband, mm -hmm. uh, there's a special program that Toyota manufacturer has. Before I let you talk about it, I want to let you know that I'm super proud that my client and very close friend, uh, RK Auto Group, which is uh, Chevy Kia Subaru in Violin, New Jersey, is the number one for the last five years in a row for making strides for breast cancer, which out of 3,000 Chevy, 3, Chevy dealerships out there, to be number one for five years in a row is, is such Amazing. a... Um, but, you know, shout out yeah. to... Uh, John Luciano and their whole entire team at RK Chevy in Vineland. But that's Chevy's big for making strides for breast cancer. And Hyundai is super huge. I have so much respect for Hyundai for, you know, for hope on wheels, for fighting pediatric cancer. But when I was asking, um, you know, uh, TJ, what does Toyota do? I was shocked and su surprised in, in such an awesome way that he was telling me this. What does Toyota do? Toyota has a Toyota match program. So basically when we were working, for example, with the youth football field and we donated $10,000 to them um, to you know, have the field named after us and so forth, we then reached out to Toyota, explained what we were doing and Toyota will then reach out to the organization and if they believe in it and feel it's valid, they will match up to $10,000. So the following year, they ended up getting $20,000 
because they got our 10,000 and they got the 10,000. If they'll do it in a calendar year, it'll be for any nonprofit or community outreach program. You just have to let them know about it and have them reach out to it. I think it's fantastic. They were able to give the kids uniforms and all kinds of things that, you know, would have cost them money or just the extra stuff they could do. It was fantastic and they were blown away by it as well. So it's a great thing. It doesn't, it's not that they concentrate on one organization, which I think is great as well. Like you said, the Breast Cancer Hope on Wheels, but Toyota just kind of opens it up to whatever the dealership believes in and what they want to do, they will then match it up to $10,000, which I think is fantastic. So now is there a cap on that? Meaning is- 10,000. Is it for, for each charity? Is it for all the charities that you do? For each charity in a calendar year. Okay. You so can do. If you guys donated 10,000, 10,000, 10,000, 10,000, if you donated to five charities, $10,000, would they match 50 grand? Oh, no, I'm sorry. They would just match the $10,000 in a calendar year. Yeah. So we could break it up next year, do five and five or do something else for another 10. Yes. But for each dealership, it would be up to 10,000 in a calendar year. It's really that's that's really awesome for the flexibility because you know like these huge organizations like Hope on Wheels, Making Strides for Breast Cancer, those are the OEMs things. Those are not the dealership things. So to have a manufacturer supporting a particular dealership's thing, for example, like that's pretty awesome. You have a, a, a youth football league where the entire stadium is named after Summit Toyota, correct? Yeah, absolutely. Okay, cool. So that means whenever somebody goes, it's got to drive the the parents of the other dealerships that are there. Crazy. I have some personal friends that do Chevrolet and stuff, and it drives them that Their son's playing on the Summit Toyota football field. <laughs> I mean, that, that, but that is such an amazing thing. So can you share, like, does this actually, now that we, we got it straight, that it's obviously it's because it's in your guys' heart and because you have the resources to, but does this actually translate into building relationships and selling cars? hundred percent. I don't know how many times people walk in the, D I mean, my husband will call me up. Hey, so-and-so is here. Um, when we first started this, I used to work from home. So I used to get phone calls from the salespeople. Hey, do you know Jane Smith? She's here talking about you. You know, just all kinds of stuff because people would just walk in and mention whether they saw the sign or they knew us from being in the community. They knew how much we'd done and they want to give us their business. It's absolutely translated. The gym, CrossFit gym, that brings a lot of business to us as well. Because again, like I said, it's not just our sign up there, but I'm talking to them. So, you know, we're lifting weights and, you know, Terry's coming up to me like, hey, I have a friend looking for a 2020 Sienna. And I'm like, tell him to give me a call. It happens all the time. So we absolutely have. So now, are, have you trained your salespeople and your BDC reps to be brand ambassadors too? So that's great that you and TJ are doing a lot of this stuff, but are you having your salespeople and your other managers and your other BDC reps, are you having them also do this type of thing, go to these events and just kind of be like a brand ambassador for you? Yeah, as much as you can. I mean, you can let them know and invite them to it, but we are also open to things. Like I know we had a salesperson um, that not too long ago was into, I think it's like the polar jump where they jump in the ice cold water and it was something he did. So he was like, Hey, I'm going, can I bring some signs and a Toyota truck? So the salespeople know if they're going to an event like that, not just that we sponsor, which we obviously encourage as well, but something that we don't bring some material, bring a truck, bring a big sign, get involved. Cause like I said at the beginning, that's the easiest way to do it is to do it for things you're already interested in or your friends are. The reason we support the adult softball league is because TJ's best friend plays in the league. So then you're not just putting the name on the t-shirt when he's out playing and meeting people, he's going to direct them towards TJ. But yes, we encourage it. Of course you can't, you know, it's their own time. So it's whatever they want to do but it's encouraged and they also know if they have something going on, they can come to us and say, hey, would you Summit Toyota like to participate in this? I think it's very important. All right, since you're my client, I'm gonna, I'm gonna kind of transition this to a little bit of training too, not just the okay. help too. Um, I was looking through your website and is, is there any place that I can see all the things that you do and all the things that are important to you on Summit Toyota's website? 
That's a great idea. I don't believe. I think we've concentrated on that wall that we have in the store. But I think that's a great idea that I will bring up to TJ. I, I don't believe we have a list of anything there, actually. But can I give you an example? Yes. Watch your screen. I'm going to share my screen. And I'm going to go to Dealer Synergy. And, and again, if you go to dealersynergy.com, let's go here quick. Sorry. Okay, so if you go to dealersynergy.com, right? Watch this. If I go under about, see, I don't put it out here because I don't want people to say like, I do this. So buy my training, you know what I mean? But right. I, let me turn on it and just get this right here. See where it says help because you can. Okay. So when I click this, this is what, and we've only been tracking this the last eight years. So for the first, I'm sorry, not eight years, seven years. So for the, for the first uh, 10 years, I didn't even track this stuff. But me and Karen, as you know, we just talked about it off camera, you know, created help because you can. So I have an entire page, dealersynergy.com forward slash help because you can, which is separate from my help because you can.com website, but it gives a synopsis of what we're doing there. And then it's got a couple of the videos explaining the help because you can. We are also uh, part of something that's very dear to us. A very close friend of ours lost his 10 year old son of pediatric cancer and asked us to be on the board for, um, you know, Pauly Strong, which is part of the Memorial Sloan Kettering Cancer, uh, you know, hospital in New York City. And then we go through like the, uh, the golf outings and the information from it here. And so these are the two big things, help because you can, and, you know, we have the Pauly Strong, but then if you take a look at this, right. organizations that we've supported, and, and this is a minimum of cash support, but a lot of them like you are also involved in actually volunteering or promoting or assisting in other ways besides just cash. But if you take a look at these are all the organizations that, we, that we've supported. And these That's are a great idea. individual people that, um, that we've supported that have reached out to us because just like you, as being a, you know, a multi-million dollar business, you know, people ask us all the time to help. And we try to help, as you can see, as many people as we can. Right. But having it right here is, is one thing. And you know why? Because, you know, in my opinion, Crystal, Shakespeare said, show me your friends and I tell you who you are. People want to do business with people they like, trust, or believe, or have the same beliefs or people they inspired to be like. So again, none of this is, is overtly out there. Hey, we do all this. So buy training or buy video stuff from, from dealer synergy, Bradley and Amanda or whatever. Yeah. Like, represents who we are. Like you have your mission, vision, values that you have out there. This is our social responsibility you know, beliefs that are here, but I'm going to show you something. Now, this is something that, that my daughter did. I don't, and this is going to be kind of crazy now that you're seeing this way. So watch, when we go to T got your keys, one of the pages, the last page of my daughter's website is all the stuff that she supports. You see what I'm saying? All yeah. The so th this is the stuff as an individual salesperson, it says serving the community. She supports the LGBT community. She, uh, you know, she's really big into animal rights and helping, you know, uh, rescuing animals from the animal shelters. And she did the stuff for homeless. And then uh, she did a lot of stuff with, with her mom and, and me, you know, for like the stuff that we do at Dealer Synergy. But so I think it's important both on a macro and micro level, meaning I think it's very, very important that that uh, the dealership or the department itself is able to articulate all the things that they believe in and they support. But I also think that individual salespeople that are trying to build their brand within the brand. So all of your salespeople, all your BDC reps, if they have their own website or even on social media, they're able to talk about the things that they support and they believe in. You right. like these ideas? I love it. I got a couple more really good ones for you, okay? So here's another couple tips. One <clears throat> would be, um, in addition to this is that one thing that we're, we were looking to do, but COVID smacked out of reality. we we have an amazing team here at dealer synergy. Yes, you do Thank you so much. I appreciate <laughs> that. But what I want to do for 2021 is I want to be able to pull my employees and ask them what charities are the most important to them. Because if you think about this, okay. this is also now an employee value package proposition, not right a client value package proposition. Because if I have people that are gonna come work here, if I'm gonna donate hundreds of thousands of dollars to charity or hell, even hundreds of dollars to charity, whatever, wouldn't it be amazing to understand 
what your own employees, what touches their heart? Because we don't know if, 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 if you know, uh, somebody was affected by homelessness or somebody was affected by Alzheimer's or somebody was affected by breast cancer or something else. And so, you know, being able as an employer to talk to your people and ask them what's important to you, because look, when we sit here and try to sell cars at, like candy bars, not all of that money goes to just make our pockets fat. A big portion of that goes back into the community, recycling right. the community to help our local community grow. And yeah. the team member here, we want to try to also contribute to things that are important to you as an employee. What do you think about that idea? It's a great idea. I'm a firm believer and I tell my internet coordinators all the time, if you believe in the product you're selling or the company you work for, it just makes it better. I think that takes it to another level. They will believe in the company they're working for because they see that you or we care about the things they care about, which I think is huge. I also think that also takes it back to getting involved in things that already mean something to you. You know, if there was some sort of charitable organization going on for Make-A-Wish Foundation, and that was super important to one of my girls, well, they would go to it. It wouldn't just be about giving the money. So I think that's huge. And I think the more you can believe in who you work for and what you're doing, it just makes your job better and easier. And that goes back to that. I think it's fantastic. I'm going to set you up with a question here, right? Okay. So you, Crystal, as a mom, as a wife, as a human being, not the BDC badass director you are, right? Do you feel like you have a ton of extra time to just throw it around to sit and sunbathe, right? Absolutely not. All right. So, and, and so here's my point. A lot of people, when they realize where they're going to spend money also goes to something that's important to them, it helps them make a buying decision. I'm just telling you right now because I don't cure cancer for a living. I'm not a doctor or a scientist. I'm just a car salesman. I train other car people. But I spend money to buy something and a portion of that money legitimately is going to help something especially that i believe in it would help me you know decide yeah i want to go with this this company here because they're in alignment with my beliefs and my and, and my heart and my um you know my, my motivation so i think it's it's realistic to to everybody in the automotive industry that we are so oh, my light just went off <laughs> I, okay you're 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 good i think this also is, is, is a motivator to people. Let me share this with you. This is a, I, I tell the story all the time, and I think I've told this to you too. But uh, one of my friends is a guy named um, Ryan Leslie. Ryan was the vice president of Dealer Raider, okay? Okay. The company. And he lost his 13-year-old son to pediatric cancer. This is somebody else. I, I know two people. This. Yeah. Uh, two people that lost their boys and um he told me a story he was one of my speakers at my conference in crystal it, it's heartbreaking and he said to me when we were talking about cars he's like you know what sean i will never drive anything other than a hyundai again and shout out to all my hyundai dealers i mean no disrespect but you know for somebody that's a vp of a national company they could buy highline or super highline so i was like right. oh. and and he said because sean hyundai's got a program hyundai hope on wheels where you know they they have donated more money than the entire United States of America. They've donated more money than the United States government to fight pediatric cancer. So if there's anybody, a company doesn't matter that's going to support you know uh, and and help fight the the person that murdered my my child. I will never buy any. Right. And, that, and that just blew me away about how deep you know, this could go emotion wise, you know, what I'm personal, it could get, yeah, to my, my, my dealer principal friend, you know, Jim G, I, I, I got mad love for him and his family. Like, no, I'm not just saying that cause we're alive. I'm just saying like, like he's a good human being. He's just, he's a really a good friend. And you know, what motivated him to go hard for this is cause he lost his wife to breast cancer. Uh -huh. Mm -hmm. So we're all just people at the end of the day. You know, I mean, look at Michael Jordan. I mean, he would probably give up his two billion dollars for his father not to be murdered. Do you see what I'm saying? And yeah, absolutely. Think about it is that everybody has different experiences. We don't know what people's pains are going through behind closed doors. So if if we are we are in the people business, people sit all the time. Are we selling stuff or when we are in the people business, we're in the mm -hmm business and if you want somebody to do business with you or take you seriously you need to get them to like you trust you and believe you but that's not a gimmick you can't you might be able to fraud it but it's better to be authentic and be so oh, 100% and it will definitely pay off so do you agree with what I'm saying I agree with you 100% and I think it leads to you know 
Customers, yes, price can be important. Color can be important. All those things, but when it comes down to it, there's so many other things that are personal and heartfelt to people that if you're not talking about it, reaching out, mentioning what you do, you're not going to get to that level. I tell the girls on the phone, if somebody even just mentions that their son has a soccer game, mention it next time you call. This is on a whole nother level. Imagine reaching out to what's really important to somebody and showing them that your company makes a difference for that. I think it would just blow it out of the water. I don't blame the guy for only buying Honda. If I had, God forbid, knock on wood, something happened like that, I would do the same thing. I would support a company that was doing something that was dear to my heart. So yes, color, trim, all that, great, great, added. But if you could get to the heart of what somebody, it's important to somebody and focus on that, I think you could blow it out of the water. Yeah, and I want to be clear because I don't want to give a mixed message or unclear message. I'm not saying do something that's not genuine, that's not authentic. Oh, no, of course not. Just to turn around. But again, you get it, I get it, but we have listeners, viewers that might misconstrue stuff. At the end of the day, we want to be able to let people know what is in our minds, what is in our heart. And again, we're all just people. So here's uh, two last things I'm going to give you tip wise, okay? Um, the next thing I'm going to say is this on an SEO level, Crystal, okay, all these companies that you are doing stuff with, you need them to give you a backlink, okay, because uh, like the Google algorithms, one of the most important things are links. When Google sees that other relevant sites are, are linking to you, it's going to, it's going to, it's like, it's like Google brownie points, if you will. Does that make sense? Yeah. Again, bi-directional links, meaning like you link to them and link back to, and you and they link to you. That's not what you want. You want one direction links. So for example, off of the, the, the football leagues, you know, website, this is something that could be, you know, like behind the scenes that the public doesn't even see like a hidden link or something like that. Okay. Or it, it has to be whoever does your website needs to be able to speak with whoever does the website to all these charities because it's really important. Even though I have those icons and logos there i'm not going to all their websites and stuff like that i'm just showing um like patches the things that we've done what's right. to me on a technology or seo level is having those companies backlink to us because believe it or not and you know how easy it is but most people like you as a dealer don't realize that but that is what helps get your website index better it shows up higher and more prominent when you have all these other sites especially you know like the school site there's got to be a lot of traffic to that football page or to that football team or to the little league or to this or that or the PTO or to the taekwondo just having a button that says we just want to thank one of our sponsors you know summit toyota boom and the link goes back to there that is a direct link from that organization to your website so go okay these inbound links and basically it's going to help you have a better seo presence and help you rank higher on the search engines pretty Good cool to know. very cool yeah we could get on that absolutely all right now the last thing i'm going to share with you last tip wise and then i want to kind of go i want to close out with your crazy amazing stats is um one thing i would like to see you do as my client because it's very rare, is one of the leading killers of, um, of toddlers and, and young, young children is car accidents. And because the, you know, they don't have proper car safety seats involved, you know, like in, installed or what have you, is that there's different, depending what state you're in and what city you're in, where county you're in, there's, there's federal programs, there's state programs, there's county programs, and there's different town programs. It just depends where your location is. You have to do some research, but you should really look into having, you know, several or all of your people get certified to install, inspect car safety seats. Why? Because that is a powerful differentiator to a parent. In my mm -hmm. To be able to say as a salesperson, hey, Crystal, as a parent to a parent, there's nothing more precious than our children. And we, I, Crystal, as your salesperson, there's nothing that's more important to me to make sure that you and your family are safe. And I got to tell you, I'm really proud to say that I'm the only salesperson in you know Cleveland, Ohio, that is certified to install, inspect car safety seats, yada, yada, yada. Make sense? Yeah, I think it's a great idea because I think currently, generally, the only place you can go is the fire station yeah, to do that. So I think that's a fantastic idea. 
Yeah, there's actually there's like there's there's three day and, and I've seen five day courses. So it's like 20 hours. Like like I don't know about you. Me and Karen had been through um, uh, certification for CPR for adults and for babies and for defibrillation and stuff like that. And so that took like eight hours. You know what I mean? It took a full day and we did it back to back. You know what I mean? Like and, and that's how we got a certification. So anything that means something is going to take a little bit of time. You know what I mean? Or a little bit of money. The certification is like a hundred bucks, which to a Toyota dealership is worth it. A couple hundred bucks, whatever it is, but the ability now that some of the reasons why some dealers might not do this is they worried about liability, but I'm going to tell you right now, they have waivers that people could sign. And if not, if, if you didn't want to deal with the waiver, stupid stuff, you could get an insurance rider to turn around and, and just basically have that as an insurance rider for the dealership. Right. Which- like hundreds of dollars. What what you can do with that on another level is crazy. So watch this. So what town is your dealership in? Akron, Ohio. Akron, right? Oh, so I said Cleveland. I got that's the other stores, right? So Akron. Yeah. If you're in Akron, Ohio, watch this. Child care. So watch what this does. It's gonna pull for me. All of these things. So try to imagine if I was a salesperson, Crystal, and all of a sudden I basically, you know, pulled this list up. Now I could cross references list right from there with LinkedIn. I have a premium membership with LinkedIn where I'm spending ninety nine dollars, but I could go right here. And what's this one right here? Kids at Heart Childcare. Perfect. So I'm gonna go um, director. Kids at Heart. Mm, I see what you're doing. Akron, Ohio. Okay. And so, and, and I'd have to just have to find it here, but you see, once I find whatever the daycare, you know what I mean? So if, yeah. I, so if I, I'm going to get through kids at heart and I'm going to get rid of that, I'm going to see what comes up for childcare, right? And you just have to play with it. And, and again, here you go. Perfect. See, there it is. This is exactly... Yep. Dude, this is, look how fast it took. I'm not even, didn't even know where, I, I have no idea where Akron's on the map. I'm looking, I know where it's at. But you see this right? Executive director at Child Resource Center here. What I could do is message, you know, Jennifer with a video. It says something like this. Hey, Jennifer, this is Sean Bradley. I'm one of the senior sales consultants at Summit Toyota right here in Akron. And um, I was talking to my general manager, TJ, and we have programs from Toyota Manufacturer for military law enforcement. But as a parent, you know what I mean? Uh, the most important thing to me is, is our kids' safety. So I took it upon myself to go through about a 20 hour course. I am actually certified. I'm the only certified sales consultant in Akron that is able to inspect and install car safety seats. What I like to do is set up a quick uh, phone call with you because me and my dealership would like to offer you a free safety clinic uh, at your childcare. So what I could do is I could bring a Toyota Sienna to, the, to your uh, location and demonstrate the proper ways to install a car safety seat. As a matter of fact, we could do a car safety seat check. You know how you see the DWI mm-hmm. check? Or DUI checks, we could yes. do check where we set up out front. It'll be COVID, you know, you know, uh, easy. Where all you got to do is I'll be outside and mask and gear, or what have you, and you just bring the car by, and we could turn around and make sure that all the car safety seats are in there. So, Crystal, I'm kind of freestyling with you as Crystal, the manager, slash, you know, you are the role playing with me as the the director here. But again, you see what that's like now. Now, why would we do a clinic like that? Because now I have access to all these parents. Think about it. I'm doing stuff that their own salesperson isn't doing. I'm keeping their kids safe. Right. I'm doing the car safety seat check. Guess what else I'm able to do? Hand out my business card like crazy. Get qualifying information. What kind of car that they have. How long they've had it. Are they planning on trading it in? Yada, yada, yada. And now I have a whole list of people that I could follow up with to try to sell cars with. Does that make sense? Love it. I think it's a great idea. Okay. And it's also something that's important to the community, which is important to us. Yes. Now, so now this is this is because my son, like our youngest, is in second grade, so he's not in daycare and, and stuff anymore. But and he only has like a booster seat. But again, it goes to what you said before about do what you know. Like if you are a parent, you know what I mean. Then then get involved in. Yeah. Th- that other parents would get into. It's authentic. It's it's native. It makes yes, hundred uh, percent. And like you said, you can fake it, but I'm a firm believer. People feel that. 
Yes. They, they feel inauthenticity. They know when something is true in someone's heart or when someone's being real, just like they can tell if someone's reading from a script or they're not reading. You just know. So I think that's huge. I love that idea. Been taking notes while you're talking. Well, I have the video, so I'm going to send that to you in post. Okay. Right. So uh, let's now, let's go in, because I think this was great. I love to hear what you were doing, and I loved to, us going back and forth. Um, but let's go into the, the management aspect of things. So you took a department uh, from doing, again, what was it? You said 40 cars? Yeah, 30 or 40. I mean, it was just myself on the phones, and then I brought Frank in. It was just Frank and I on the phone. So on a good month, we were selling, you know, maybe 20 each, something like that, because we were handling thousands of leads on our own. So it was hard. <laughs> when 80 to 100 cars a month, and to your point, you also said before, I'm going to bring back that if you did it with more people that we recommend, you'd probably be at 150 or something crazy like that. But Who just, knows? you know, still trying to be fiscally responsible with COVID and having a, a certain amount of staff, you still more than doubled in a freaking pandemic your, your sales, correct? Absolutely. Yes. Even on slow months, we've more than doubled. Let's give the audience one more quick tip. And here's the thing to all of my dealer synergy clients that drive me batshit crazy, right? Is that, um, you know, I don't believe in internet department. I don't believe in a BDC. I believe that was five, 10 years ago, to be honest with you. I believe in an internet dealership or business development dealership. And I got to tell you, you and your, your salespeople are one of the absolute best that we have on our program because, you know, you are so good at having the salespeople involved in the internet department. There's yeah. so out there that that they have a great BDC and great appointment setters, but there is very, very little communication between the BDC and the floor. And there's there's very little synergy or interdependency between the two departments. You found a way to get a hybrid department. So it's a hybrid because yes, you have your BDC reps, your appointment setters, your internet coordinators, but you also work very fluidly and synergistically with your showroom floor. Can you talk about that for a minute? We absolutely do. Well, not only do we have the three point guards, like you suggest, that work fantastically with our team as well, but we involve the other salespeople. First of all, if you're doing the job right and you're bringing people in, the salespeople are going to see that and they're like, what's going on over there, right? So, but I always also want to maintain that good atmosphere. They can come to us. I tell my people, if a point guard or myself is not available, you can go to any one of them. They are more than happy to help. They come back here. They talk to us about customers of ours that have come in. We keep an open line of communication. And I think it's about just having respect both ways. You know, we understand that we only have three point guards. Well, if I have 20 appointments set today, all three of those are not going to handle those people and the other salespeople know that and they appreciate they're going to get the overflow from that to keep it fair any phone ups that we take we actually set those appointments for non point guards so we're also still working for the other salespeople in the room and i think it's just about not creating this animosity having a hope open line of communication knowing that we're going to help feed your paycheck you just got to come tell me what's going on about it too I think it's huge. A lot of places there's like, oh, the BDC and they're taking all of our deals and setting appointments. It's just not like that here. We've created a different atmosphere and I think it makes a huge difference. But again, not just for our point guards, but for all the salespeople. So the bottom line is this, because I agree, obviously, yeah, 100% is that do you feel that you could be selling, you know, as many cars out of the inner department without the salespeople's involvement? Absolutely not. Thank you. Thank you. Yes. So you don't understand. I got, I got, I got superstar stores that are doing 156 cars. Girl knows who I'm talking about. Mm -hmm. <laughs> 156 cars out of a single point, you know, import franchise, but very little support from our showroom store. And I'm like, oh my God, you know, you guys don't. It's if you, the answer isn't segregation of internet and showroom. No. It's full integration, oh. synergy. If you can create a, a, an infrastructure where you do absolutely have appointment setters or BDC reps or internet coordinators, but they're running in conjunction, not only, Crystal said it, not only with the point guards, which are senior or strong salespeople, but there's a third level, the overflow. So the dealer synergy model is got BDC reps or internet coordinators as tier one, 
Tier two are point guards or the elite salespeople that work not only on the floor, but when they're not doing a product presentation, demonstration, drive delivery, they're working in full uh, unison with the internet BDC. And when they're not available, because point guards are doing product presentation, demonstration, drive deliveries, their days off or shifts off, then we're going to tier three, which is overflow from the showroom. If you have that cascading HR infrastructure in your department, coordinators or BDC reps, point guards or internet sales consultants and overflow all working together, you're going to have mass production. True or false? True or false? Absolutely true. And everyone's working for everyone's paycheck. It's a team effort. I know if you come back and tell one of my girls about one of her customers that's called in or came in and we keep that communication open, you're not trying to skate a deal or do something shady because you think we're going to take it away from you. Absolutely not. If you come and tell us, I will put you on the deal, even if you're not a point guard. They see that. And like you said, they see from the overflow, oh, the BDC is doing something right back there. As long as you're doing your job right, the salespeople are going to see it. They're going to feel it and they're going to want to be a part of it in any way they can. You, I want to echo those two points. One is the culture you've created. You've created a culture of inclusion, not segregation. 100%. Culture of, of, you know, prosperity and abundance, not mine, 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 from like the golem from the Lord of the Rings, mine, you know? Right. And, and then sure. to that, you know, people aren't stupid. If your inner department sucks and there's nothing happening, nobody's going to care. But right. there's starting traction people are going to start popping up what's what's going on back there where's my bone where's my juice what can i I live yeah street term on the the street can i live can i get some Mm -hmm. all right and it's great for the coordinators too let me say because they they also know that if the point guard who they usually work with is busy they can go to any salesperson with questions or I need photos or anything and they don't get any attitude or resistance. They jump up happy to help. So it just creates that whole thing for everybody, I think, which is great. I, I love this. So in closing, what, what advice or tips do you have for other internet BDC directors like yourself? Uh, what advice do you have for them so they could you know, sell 100 cars a month out of their department? Training. I think training is huge. I think dealer synergy is a part of that as well. If you're constantly training, I tell people I have a new hire here that actually started today. And then I have people that have been here close to a year. And I tell her, including myself, we're all still training because you have to keep doing that, right? So that's number one, believing in what you're selling and the company you're working for is a huge number two for me, confidence um, in what you're behind. And then it's, Third would be the atmosphere. The atmosphere is huge for me. I don't like people that slam their phone and get frustrated. I don't, if you need to take a break, go out and take a walk, but here we keep a happy atmosphere and that includes with the BDC and the sales. I believe in the long-term game, not the short game. So it's about building relationships with everybody in the dealership together. And I think that's, that's the best way to succeed. Listen, um, it really is a pleasure to work with you and your, your company. Uh, we love Summit Toyota. You know, Thank you. you, your husband are awesome. And I love the fact that you guys are married and work together because people say to me and Karen, how do you do it? I, I, we, we get that too. Yeah, but I, I say how I can't imagine my life without working with my best friend. You know what I mean? Like, I right. Just, yeah, it's, it's awesome. And we respect each other and what we do and how good we are at our jobs. And so it just makes it easier. And me and TJ know who really runs things. You ladies do. So, you know, place. <laughs> Keep that there. <laughs> so it was, this was perfect. I think this was a great, um, you know, snapshot into a very successful, you know, di- director, a very successful organization. And I love the dialogue uh, of, of what you guys are doing with your community. I'm really proud of you guys. And I hope that I gave you some good tips and advice that you can use uh, for Summit Toyota. Edition. You absolutely did. And I just have to say one more time, thank you for saying that. Our success is great, but it does have a lot to do with dealer synergy and your team as well. They're fantastic. <laughs> Listen, <laughs> again, I'm not, I'm not, I would tell people that here, like we didn't plan all this stuff out. Like, You're not paying me. <laughs> they're actually paying me. You know what I mean? So, exactly. <laughs> so 
that means a lot, but I'm going to make this like very clear to everybody that knows out there, we don't have a sales team. So it's not like I have people beating on the doors. A hundred percent of our prospects come to us and it makes my life easier because you, TJ, you know, Kyle, Wes, everybody wants to be successful. So again, I'm not dealing with lazy ass dealers that, that, that just think they know everything. Like I, the reason, part of the reason why I'm so successful with our dealers is because the dealers that we hire are the right dealers. Do you see what I'm saying? Like yeah. we have, we, we don't, we don't take just any dealer on board. Um, one of our prerequisites is that they have a vision and they're dedicated to that vision and, and you guys work your asses off. I mean, you TJ, everybody at summit Toyota really works hard and it's a team effort, but at the end of the day, I appreciate it. I might be calling the plays, but you guys are actually executing them day after day and uh, you're the boots on the ground. So we are honored to share. So thank you. Thank you so much. If you enjoyed this podcast, then make sure to give it a thumbs up, subscribe and leave us a review. You know, let some other folks know about it. They want to hear it too. Oh, and don't forget to join the millionaire car salesman group on Facebook. We'll see you there. (laughs) <laughs> the blind guy talking about we'll see you there. You funny, dog. If you enjoyed this podcast, then make sure to give it a thumbs up, subscribe, and leave us a review. You know, let some other folks know about it. Oh, and don't forget to join the Millionaire Car Salesman group on Facebook. We'll see you there. <laughs>